Emotion is fundamentally is information. Emotion, intent, your state of mind, how you feel and how fit you are, your health state, all of that is translated through the emotions. One of the major challenges in Aben computing is to be able to communicate our intent and what we want without providing explicit commands. And one of the major sources of information about what people want is how people move. The broad approach we took to motion is to look at various different things that people do. It could be waving your hand to convey some information. It could be unconscious breathing or kicking a ball on a soccer field. With Adidas Gamer, we took the Google tag and inserted it into a insole of a soccer shoe. And when the player plays, we have very powerful machine learning models that can track and measure the different activities that the player performs in the field. The same technologies that we developed can be used for other use cases. As an example, we worked with orthopedic surgeons at UCSF to measure outcomes for patients who went through knee replacement surgery. So we took an approach that allows us to look at inertial motion sensors, as well as things like Soli Radar that allows us to capture very fine motion. The Soli Radar has already been integrated into everyday devices, such as the Nest Home Hub, where it's providing information about sleeping patterns, such as respiration, heart rate, so that users can understand their sleep trends over time. The radar signal doesn't contain recognizable images of people's faces and bodies, but it does contain information about the way that they're moving. In order to do that, you need to have a fully integrated system, which includes sensors, and hardware, and software, and artificial intelligence working as one system, which can capture all kinds of motions in a very significant details, and then analyzed in whole versus one by one. And that's what we called a motion platform. The motion platform is unique in a, a few different ways. Uh, one of them is it really encompasses the effort from beginning to end, from data collection to embedding models into consumer devices. We've been able to build out very novel sensors, but also we've been able to crack how to place them in situation. One of the challenges that we have is to take these very powerful algorithms that we can build on large machines and computing in the cloud and then crunch them down to these very low power devices. These are what we call edge devices and they have very specific constraints like low compute power and low memory and these obviously introduce new challenges. The first step is to train the model. So you gather data and then you label it. The next step is to test the model in the cloud, and then they are converted and optimized to fit into the hardware devices. What's really exciting about the Motion Platform is that it creates a scalable tool to holistically treat motion data, regardless of the sensor that it came from. This brings radar technology together with existing sensors so that we can collect, analyze, and process the data into meaningful information and helpful insights. We are developing technology that can understand you, as opposed to you having to understand technology. And that's sort of a vision we're looking for, where the computers and technology can, can be helpful from the background without standing in the way. <laughs>